1928 was notable as the year a locomotive ran into the back of Powers Drug Store on South White Street in Wake Forest. But it was also the year Mary Evelyn Alston Jones was born, across the tracks in the African-American community now known as the East End. Only 63 years after the close of the Civil War, the woman who brought Evelyn into the world was a former slave, a respected midwife, and her own great-grandmother, Mama Ellen. And I also had a cousin that was born on that same day, the same night, and my mother told my daddy to go tell Mama Ellen she was ready and she could go back to his sister later and deliver her baby. So I was born one hour earlier than my first cousin and I, we always called ourselves twins and we didn't know any better. We thought we were twins because we were born on the same day. In that era, the town's black community had its own stores, churches, and school, which husbands and fathers donated land and labor to build. But it was the women who left the deepest impression on Evelyn, beginning with her grandmother. She was not an educated woman, but she had what we call not, uh, used to call mother wit. Uh, she had the knowledge of what was right and wrong, and that's what she taught us. And she worked in the fields. In the summer, she chopped cotton. In the fall, she picked cotton. And she would always ask us, what do you want for Christmas? And she would work all this time to save money to get us exactly what we wanted for Christmas and to have what we call, kids don't have it now, confectionaries. California grapes and raisins that was on the, still on the stem was something that we looked forward to. And she would always have boxes of them under her bed and as children, we couldn't wait to get over to my missus house at Christmas time to see what she had gotten us and to get all of that confectionery that she was going to give us. But not even the most loving family, nor these strong female role models, could erase the color barrier still dominating the American South, a reality Evelyn had to face on her own and in her own way, and which shaped her life and who she would become. Because I wanted to be a nurse, too. Just, just wanted to be so bad, but didn't have the money to go. Mr. LeCompte, he taught at uh, St. Uh, Alt. He came to the house one day and he says, Miss Austin, I got a way that Evelyn can go to school. Oh, I was just grinning. He says, but well, it's in Georgia. Says she can go to nursing school free. Mama said, okay. I said, uh-uh, Mama. Mm -mm, not me. Not me and my mouth. They done told me you had to bow to a white horse. You had to walk off the sidewalk and let the white person walk on. I said, Mama, I would be in the highest tree that they could find. I said, no, Mr. LeCompte, no. Uh-uh, I can't go to Georgia. And he said, why, Evelyn? I said, the way I talk and buddy in and everything, no, uh-uh. And that's, I guess, had I gone, I would have been a nurse. 